Hey folks, hope you're good today. Thanks for tuning in for another Monday Grind. We're back in the saddle with a bunch of bands in the queue uh, and a bunch of submissions come through the week. Thanks to Skink and whoever else sent in a bunch of submissions through the week. Not all, all of them made it through the door, uh, but a bunch of them did and some new bands to the channel. Always appreciated. So we've got six bands to check out today, some short blasters as well, which is nice. So let's get straight into it. I think this is a new band to the channel, a Dirge. This one came out a month ago, Nuclear Horde. Let's give it a spin. Sick, loved it. New band to the channel, but well, still good. Friggin' loved it. What a sick sound to this one. Super heavy and distorted and loud, pumping down your ears, massive drum sounds, cool tings on the ride, real heavy vocal layered up, sounded absolutely great. So Dirge, welcome to the channel. Hope to see you again more in the future. I think this is another new band to the channel, but this one came out two years ago, so it's a bit older. Glitter Strip, hopefully they're still together. This is Wealth and Rot, here we go. Wicked. Great video for that one as well, my kind of vid. Man, these guys were super thick and heavy, but in a totally different way to the first band. The first band had that kind of wide, just grisly, orangey amp kind of distortion to them, whereas these guys had way more of a metallic, kind of like a Marshall-y tone, but with a HM2 sat in front of it. Uh, just but thick, but in a different, totally different way. So, totally different style of distortion. Sounded amazing. Two different bands sounded super heavy. We've seen these guys before, and now we're gonna see them again, because this is their new stuff from 10 days ago. Very cool band, Sloth Phantom Moth with Subjugated. Subjugated by the candle rise. 
great one. Man, wasn't expecting these jazzy sections in here. Bass and drums sounding wicked though. Tinging away on the ride and all the rest of it sounded absolutely great. Yeah, nice to see these guys back on the scene. Very, very cool. We need bands to keep coming back around. That was this band called, oh, this is all our friends, Autonomy with Inguinal Hernia. <laughs> Here we go. Wicked. What a great riff. Just repetitious, but keeps going round and round. You don't know where the one is again, because it's just like a riff that just keeps looping and looping. Really nice. I like the way as well that we have the guitar and the bass both doing it, and you could hear each other's tone. So you, each one stood out within the mix, which was cool. Added like a kind of a nice kind of... Um, uh, I can't think of the word I'm trying to think of. It's like a harmony where you have it with a guitarist where he does, you know, an octave higher. Uh, but with this one, it's with the bassist an octave lower. It just sounded really nice on the ears. Cool vocals as well. This bassist uh, is involved in a bunch of different bands. I think this is the nicest band uh, that he's involved in. We, we get other ones with uh, James and stuff where he's on the vocals and whatever. Uh, but yeah, I like these guys. I think they're doing a nice job with what they've got going on. Love these guys. Good time, Aussie Bogglers. This one's called Povo C Unit. Let's give it a spin. What's dope about these guys is their Australianness just comes through so much within the music as well. Obviously, the accent within the vocals is coming through, which is great because uh, you know it sets them apart from just another shouty guy because there's an accent to the vocal as well. I love that, especially within you know punk. You get that a lot with the British punk days where you could have all the different London accents and British accents coming through within the music um, and. Other styles of shouty music don't generally have that because, you know, all the shouts just sound the same. So when you can bring your accent through and your cultural kind of identity through uh, the vocal with still a shout as well, super sick. But as well, what these guys sing about, we get a real taste of kind of trashy Australian culture. Um, and what they sing about is all the real funny, cool things as well. Cool videos. Love these guys. We're going to finish off with Slug Gore. And I forgot to do all the videos right, but this one is called Overthrow the Surface. This is a, an official video with a cool uh, um, kind of computer animation to it. So let's finish with these guys. Very nice day on the channel. Get rid of it, turn off the planet, so where's this on the ground? You 
Expecting that dope end to the video. Man, fans are getting dialed into some cool ways of making videos now. Never used to be a thing that you could do anything like this on your own. You'd have to go to a studio and all that stupid stuff. Now these guys are doing it in their garage. Amazing, I love that. We'll just let that roll in the background because it looks like we're going to get some footage of them in the studio. Man, six bands to check out today, six super dope videos to go along with them. This one included, and we can see, you know, they've really gone, gone into it, getting full motion capture and everything, but then setting it in a really cool 90s video game style as well, which is something you can do nowadays. And it's cool as well with AI nowadays, you can, uh, you can put it in where you want it to be a certain style, you know, you put in the prompt, but you can put in like, 90s playstation game style and it comes up with like a computer like a screenshot from an old school video game you can put your own stuff in that way and i think bands are going to be able to do that well we've seen that there uh but basically putting it into 90s style video game stuff but having full motion capture as well that is so sick for a grind band i mean that's, i think that's got to be the first grind band that's ever had full motion capture in one of their videos that i know about anyway especially diy and not gone to a studio and paid them all to do it and all the rest of it so sick amazing stuff uh, one thing i want to mention today that was run through all the bands it's been really dope that stood out is the bass the bass has really really stood out in every single band you can hear it you can make it out with your ear in every single band and it cuts through with its own grisly fat tone and just makes these bands even heavier because when the bass is back in the day didn't have such as fat a tone uh, and we're just kind of stuck in the back just filling out the low end uh you know there, there wasn't all that grizzle and dirt and grime that we've get get nowadays it just sounds amazing it's another fat distortion within the mix and as well what the bands have shown us especially with the first two bands is how different you can sound within the grind scene and still sound super heavy. You know, there isn't just one heavy distortion tone or one grind tone that works, uh, which could be said for other genres of metal, you know, thrash, there's really only one kind of tone that works. Um, Metalcore nowadays has pretty much only got one tone. Doom has got a pretty much one tone, a lot of other stuff. But within grind, you can have everything. You can have the thick, thrashy tones. You can have the sludgy, doomy tones and everything in between uh, and just a whole mishmash. And then with those bass tones coming through as well, it's just sounding better than ever. Love it. So we're back on now with a, a bunch of stuff in the queue. So we've got no worries about coming back next week. We'll see you then. If you get any submissions coming through the week, we'll see you then. Uh, if you didn't check it out, check out the down tempo deathcore one that I did last week because I had some seriously heavy music. Uh, and if you, even if you just like fast stuff and blast beats, if you just like real heavy music that just pounds you, that's some nice stuff as well. Very well done. We'll see you around when we see you next, guys. Hope you have a good week. Cheers. Bye.